Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your March 2019 general horoscope reading with me, Gemini. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry these messages are a little delayed here for March. I've been super busy, a lot of home improvement stuff going on, what have you. But, alas, here we are, Gemini, and we have some things to talk about. Yes, yes, yes. So I went ahead and got a head start pulled a couple of runestones for you here, just so we could get a little inkling and just go ahead and begin with some of the psychic messages coming through. So, I'm gonna shuffle the tarot just a little bit more here for you. But we have Sigil and Uros popping out. So, this pairing, there is so much masculine energy with this pairing so much drive and willpower. So you may find your drive and willpower starts to really pick up, especially at the end of March, Gemini. And one of the reasons being as well, this really resonates with Mars moving into your sign, into Gemini, at the very end of March. But you might be feeling the effects of that a little sooner. I believe it's on the 31st, actually, when it officially moves into your sign. Mars is all about your drive, your physical force, your energy, being able to get things done, your sexual drive as well. So you might find you have a ton of energy here, Gemini. A ton of energy to get, ooh, cards are fidgety, things accomplished. And things you can create some real foundations with as well. Okay, I feel like here we go. Now for most of the month we are in Pisces season. And so that energy kind of has a, has a mind of its own. You have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. Pisces, Pisces. Sorry, I wasn't calling you Pisces, Gemini. I'm just like thinking out loud here. <laughs> All right, let's, I'm gonna take you back up here so we can chat face to face now. All right, so Gemini. I'm getting the message here too with these rune stones and especially with the Knight of Pentacles, it's looking at the rune stones. There's something, a recent or very upcoming sort of confrontation or even offer that you have to face, that you have to be very decisive about, that you're really being asked to make a decision about. Something is requiring some decisive action. And even, even while Mercury's in retrograde, which is your ruling planet, Gemini, Mercury is gonna be retrograde most of the month. However, your willpower and ability and just drive to want to like act and go for things is still going to be quite powerful. And like I said, especially towards the end of the month. But I'm getting here. Whatever sort of accomplishment offer or confrontation that you're trying to receive that you're trying to make a decisive give your decisive opinion on, or just make a decision on, it's, it's gonna require some real effort. It may feel a little strenuous, you know, some strenuous effort. But, I'm gonna tell you, with the Nine of Cups being at the center of your reading, Gemini, rewards here look beautiful. It's like, with this card, I'm getting all of your efforts, all of that strenuous, effort is going to be coming together and it's going to be worth it. 
it's going to feel worth it in March, especially once the sun moves into Aries, Mars goes into your sign. There's definitely some feelings going on here. <laughs> um, could have been a recent job offer here that perhaps you're still unsure about. Devil's in the details, still working out some details. Maybe you have to work out some of the kinks that you found in signing a contract. But there's something here that's still showing really progressive, but almost like I'm getting that some of you are moving away from a certain area of work. An area of work that you have been doing or have been drawn to in the past. Something you're being asked to move away from now. And here at the bottom of my reading you have the devil. So, you know, this move is, is it's made you feel a little trapped. Like you've almost lost your freedom, I'm getting, in some ways, either with a relationship or simply a business partner or whatever job that was that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Something is being asked here in Pisces season for the majority of March here for you to look at that and really, really speak to that issue, to that problem, to whatever that feeling of bondage, entrapment is. And this is, you know, even Gemini getting in touch with your dark side. Now this is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, relationship with a Capricorn here. But simply, just that energy of how has this relationship or this field that you've been working in, job, whatever, how has it been making you feel limited? Has it been making you feel suppressed? Making you feel like you have to hide a certain part of yourself, a certain part of your passions even. So it's going to be about, in Pisces season, learning how to embrace that. Kind of that dark side to yourself, to things, and even I'm getting here almost forgiving yourself for staying in this position, whether it's with the person or staying in that position at that job. Not being too harsh on yourself, understanding what it taught you, what it made you more aware of. Coming through big time. And with the Seven of Swords popping up here, this is a very complimentary energy for you, Gemini. So I'm getting here, especially towards the end of the month, once Mercury moves direct especially, this is you running with the knowledge that you've learned. See, he's gaining some, some swords here. He's taking some swords. Um, it's really ringing as knowledge. It's like you taking the knowledge, the ideas, that you have gained and learned the whole Mercury retrograde cycle, what you've realized needed to be adjusted, where you realize your path is now, the next step. Yeah, this is you making the next step towards the end of the month. There's so much movement and almost breakthrough energy. Your willpower expands so much at the end of the month. This is you almost, I'm getting, making some really, really smart decisions here. You know, he's looking at the Nine of Cups here. This is you making some really smart investments with your money so that you're living more financially abundant. So there's an opportunity coming for you to make some better investments I'm getting. And even with your time, with your relationships here, finding the better investment 
What is going to just work better for you? What is smarter, Gemini? Yeah. It's almost like I'm getting almost like outsmarting yourself or outsmarting your past self, you know, who you were even just a few weeks ago, Gemini. So it's really interesting. And then you end with the King of Cups. So, woohoo, feeling in your gut, feeling powerful, feeling good about your direction, about your investment, seeing results too. Same results with going with the flow and making, taking that decisive action. You know, kings are decisive. They have to be. They're the decision makers. So Gemini, embody this energy of the King of Cups where you are the decision maker. Understanding that other sort of side of yourself or understanding that other person's point of view, it contributes. It's contributed to your life, for sure. But this is you being decisive where you pick the decision, you pick one side or the other, but then there's always a middle decision, too, I'm getting here for you. Always a middle decision, Gemini. And it's like I'm getting here, once you deal with this devil energy, where you felt trapped, where you felt limited, where you felt less than, where, where you felt suppressed, all of those things, once you deal with those emotions, you face them head on, whether that's facing it with the other person, with your job partner, where, whether you face it by leaving that job or that circumstance that made you feel these things, once you take decisive action this month like that, you step into this King of Cups, where you are feeling a lot more emotionally fulfilled in your role, in your place now, in the world, in society, in your community right now. Almost like a freedom call for you this month in March. And you know, it's really funny because the way I interpret like Mars going into Gemini, it's almost like it's almost like that energy of Gemini is like the informant, is like the strategist on the battlefield who's like, oh, if we sneak up on them here in the south and we make this move, we go around this way and then we send these troops over here and then we do this, you know, they're the strategy makers. You are the strategy maker. And then it's the warriors who go out and do the dirty work and do the physical fighting and really make it happen. So there's a lot of strategy. This moving with your strategy this month. Some really powerful strategies that come to you that just completely change your inner world, how you feel about something, about someone. You might find yourself at the end of March, Gemini, feeling incredibly empowered and almost feeling like a new person. Honestly, it's quite extraordinary. It's powerful. I like this. I like this a lot for you. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a lot of will power coming at you and you're really really aligning I mean there's some mm, 
powerful investments that are being made here in March. And the word, before we wrap up here, the word self-preservation is coming up here with this as well, Gemini. So however that's speaking to you, take that. Make the investment to self-preserve. Preserve your own feelings, your own legacy. That's more your focus. You have permission. All right, Gemini, that really concludes March, March's psychic message here. So I will try to get up a um, another reading. My Mars is actually in Gemini and my birth chart, so I'm really excited. I'm probably going to get a lot of things done. And so, you know, I can relate to that energy with you, Gemini. So hopefully I'll have another Zodiacs in Comedy video up soon. So be watching out for that. And if you want to do a personal reading with me, or just want to connect with me more on the social media. All the links and information are below in the descriptions box, as always, Gemini. So thank you for bearing with me in my morning talk and voice <laughs> here. I will see you in the next video. Take care, Gemini.